morning everybody. So today we are on a little adventure to eastern Nebraska. We found a new bale bed for the pickup. That's the thing we use on the back of the feeding pickup to pick up and feed the bales. And um, we're gonna go get it. Uh, we are in our first little, our first kind of big town on our way. And I stopped and got scooters. Scooters is my guilty pleasure. I really, really, really love their blended coffee and cream with no flavoring and then they put whipped cream on top for me. It's so good. But anyway, we have about a five hour drive and five hours back and then we will have a new bale bed to feed the cows with. Good morning, everybody. So it's been several days. It was snowing and raining and being nasty outside. And then yesterday, it was a little bit better, but it was really windy. And Miles took the bale bed off of the flat bed <laughs> and laid it upside down so that we can coat the underside for rest. And I'll show you what we are going to use for that. Um, but one of the tools I wanted to show you is this. If you've never seen one of these before, they are one of the best things I've discovered as a do-it-yourselfer. You get them at Walmart in the spray, spray paint aisle, and they hook onto the top of your spray paint can, and they have a little trigger so that the tip of your finger doesn't get so tired. I don't know if you all have spray painted enough to get that spray painting cramp in your hand, but this severely makes that so much better. And you don't get paint on the tip of your finger, on the tip of your glove, because we're gonna be painting with gloves on today because it is cold. 
Um, it's just warm enough that the paint will stick to this metal, but it's still cold enough that I need a couple of jackets. Oh, there goes Jack. How you doing, Eden? I gotta feed everybody here real soon. So I'm just gonna set the camera up and we will get to it. Pixel before and after. And the husband with all the paint. All the paint. Quite rusty. And we did go ahead and power wash all of the rust that was loose, the dirt and stuff off. Focusing. So this is how it slides. Let's get it in the video. So this is how it slides onto the can. Um, sometimes they rotate a little bit when you're using them, so you just want to check once in a while and make sure that the, the the hole the paint comes out of is actually not in the back or off the side because it really hinders your paint spray. And it just you just pull the trigger and it pushes down on the top. But this is what we're using. We're using Rust-Oleum undercoating. Um, stops rust and it's rubberized black. I don't know, it's worked really, really well for us in the past, so. And it's not as expensive as actual paint. Jack, kiddo. Come here. I want to pet you. Oh. I want to pet you.
good. <laughs>